time starts now. Hi everyone, okay, I'm Sam, I'm doing a Masters in Human Rights Law. Let me tell you a bit about myself. Uh, I, I began my adult life as a lawyer. I was a lawyer for eight years. Uh, I worked in the City of London near St Paul's Cathedral. And it was during my time in the city that I experienced some of the worst excesses of corporatism and greed. And I came to realise that the system was very, very wrong. And I wanted to be part of the process that changed the system. So around four years ago, I started going to protests. My first protest was Operation Cast Lead. I became an activist. I was still a city lawyer. Uh, and for some years, I lived something of a bizarre double life. Uh, I joined the Stop the War Coalition, and very soon after, I was appointed a national officer of the Stop the War Coalition, which essentially means I helped run the organisation. And I joined the anti-austerity movement. Uh, I was involved in some of the biggest campaigns um, in Britain at the time. Um, now, last year, 2012, having become totally committed to the movement, and after a lot of soul-searching, I gave up my career and I enrolled into SOAS. I enrolled into SOAS because it has a long tradition of political engagement, social justice, and of course, amazing critical teaching. And it's been an amazing experience at SOAS so far. I've helped run the Stop the War Coalition here. I've helped campaign on a number of high-profile uh, events, including the Tony Blair demo last November, uh, the Mali meeting earlier this year, and helping to organize the, the, the big Gaza demonstrations outside the Israeli embassy uh, last year. Okay, so I've got a lot of experience in campaigning. How would I bring that to bear in my role as welfare and campaigns officer? Well, the first thing I do is I'd campaign hard to improve student accommodation here at SOAS, which you all know is inadequate. I used to be a housing lawyer. I've sued more landlords than you guys have. <laughs> to improve uh, accessibility for dis disabled students uh, throughout SAS. Number three, I would campaign to improve student support. That would include, uh, amongst other, other things, better training for faculty support staff. Okay, uh, I've got other policies. I haven't got time to go through them. Talk to me afterwards, read my manifesto. The other thing, of course, I would ensure that SAS continues to campaign against war and austerity. Let me just finish on this. I am so proud to be a part of this university, and I am, I am so happy I gave up my old life to be here. This is one of the best universities in the country, it can be better, and if you elect me, I will ensure that it is better. Thank you for listening.